Hey guys, what's going on? Jenko Sports here bringing you a brand new episode in our Bronby Bounce Back series. And we've got a double header. We've got the opening game of the season and then we've got the derby between Copenhagen and Brond Bay. That's right, Brond Bay is the new name of this team because we are just Brond Bay. We are the Bay of Bronze. What you're seeing at the moment is some last minute squad strengthening before we get into the opening game of the season. So Rick Schau looks like he's going to be joining the club. Now I couldn't decide if it's Rick Schau or Rickshaw. As in Rickshaw, you know, like the little Indian tuk-tuks you have to drive around. So I thought that'd be pretty cool just to bring him in because of the name. It turns out his potential ability and his current ability aren't too good. But his stats-wise are actually very good. I don't know why his... Uh, current ability and potential so low. He's wanted by a team in the Austrian Bundesliga. And comparing the stats to a player that's already on our team, you'll see that in a minute, I think. He's actually not that bad. In fact, he's a bit better, which is slightly worrying. So either our scout has had one too many Horlicks and he's woken up a little bit drowsy, bless him. Or he's just guessing because he can't be asked to do his work. So it's one or the other. But we've got a game coming up and it's going to be quite important now because Copenhagen, who are like the gladiators, there's the big three in there, there's AAB, there's Copenhagen and then there's Bronby and Copenhagen and AAB have shared the titles over the last few years. Now both teams started this season with a loss and there's a spoiler for you as we start our first game of the year but both teams started with a loss which is huge news for us because if we can get an early start on the leaders as we said I'd rather start good than end good start well get the bank in then you can afford to mess up later on aka Charlton but looking at who we're going to start here today Daniel Aka won't be starting purely because he's on 80% fitness and then we've got the derby just around the corner the last thing I want really is to have him at 60 odd percent starting against that I'd rather start a player who doesn't perhaps have as much prowess as Daniel Aga in a game that doesn't matter as much than Daniel Aga in a game where he can tear everyone up at the back and then lose and in the derby. So we're going to try and get off to a flying start here. Seven minutes in. No real highlights so far. And then he's just netted one wide. We're playing in black. Took me a solid four minutes to realise that actually. That we were playing in black. Not blue and yellow. But we're making some good plays. Ball's getting forward here. Pookie. Now there's Night El Manda as well. Now oh my god we still get it out. You are joking. Every save it doesn't matter. If it's Charlton, Bromby, Basingstoke, Sky, Anyone. It happens every game. We get a goal disallowed. 31 minutes in now. Let's just weave it through. That's the one. Play it down. Is that an own goal? No, it's not. Hit it. Get it out. There we go. That one counted. It was a bit sloppy by the defence. In fact, it was pretty much an own goal and a tap in for our right winger. But that doesn't matter really, does it? As long as we're 1-0 lap, that one goes flying over into the game's aid barrier. And we move into a second half with a 1-0 lead. Their free kick comes in. Surely now we're going to start off with a flyer. Surely now we're going to start off dreadfully because it's 1-1. That's all right. That's exactly what I want to see. That's great defending from a free kick. Absolutely beautiful. Daniel Agar will be over there on Tumblr writing some emotional post about that and re-blogging Bring Me The Horizon lyrics. He will not be happy in the slightest. But we're now in the 88th minute. It's last chance. Celine! Come on then, boys. Let's get a goal. 90th minute. Let's FM the FM. Victor Alvarez, our new one, the kid's side, and he's 21 years old, runs up the flank, whipping a ball with Daryl E. Cheese. Is it Laughing Cow or is it Lunchables? It's Lunchables! <laughs> And the 19 year old scores. That is sent to the sen sensational. We are Bronze Bay and here to stay. Now, we almost scored there as DJ Jenko got himself in the mix with a bit of a rhyme. But 93rd minute, that's full time. Bronby are over the moon. I've got a semi with 1 2 1. Now, we go from this into the derby. Copenhagen. Bronze Bay. And you can see that Copenhagen bottom of the table. After a loss. Not good news for them. Also AAB lose their first game of the season. Which isn't good. So both ex-title winners in the past five years. Well the only two really. Have got off to a floppy start. It's like they've taken a bird home. After a lot of vodka. And realise they can't quite get it up. And have to resort to fingering instead. But. Now we've got to take a look at the bigger picture here. Because we couldn't start Johan Elmander. We find out why that is in a few moments time. It turns out he's unable to play football till the 6th of August for personal reasons. 
Now, I don't know what those personal reasons are. I'm assuming his girlfriend's either bought him a Netflix account, to which now he can't be asked to move from his own bedroom. He's stuck there, eating Cheetos, drinking KX Energy Drink, and hooked on Vampire Diaries, watching Twilight, and the occasional episode of The Office. Either that, or he's actually discovered that in Denmark, kebab shops do exist, according to one of our subscribers. So he's off there, garlic mayo slop all over him, going, I'm in love with the kebabs. That's the cringiest song you'll ever hear. But either way, he's not allowed to play until the 6th of August, which is bollocks. So he misses the derby, and now Holst has gone to Aston Villa. One of our brightest talents. To have a moustache like that at 19 is extremely impressive. There's no wonder that Villa wanted him. He spoke to me before the game, though, or before this screen popped up, saying that he wanted Champions League football. Villa made an offer, and he wanted to move. I don't, I don't get his logic there. Big Dave said maybe he believes in the five-year plan. I reckon it's possibly a ten-year plan. But we bring in Rick Shaw. So Rick Shaw will be starting in the derby against FC Copenhagen. But it does look like to me we do need a bit more strength still. So we pick up this guy with the money we get from Holst. Not a bad little player, actually. He's 23 years old, called Guida. And he does look like he could be, well, have the potential at least to be a regular first team starter. If not, he'll be a very, very worthy substitute or a man who can just be in the rotation, especially for the cup games as well. We've got Europa League coming up. Third game of the season, actually, is against Club Bruges. So we've got an opening game, which we've won somehow, luckily as well. And then we go to FC Copenhagen in the derby. Right, and then we've got Club Bruges. It's a big, big opening three games for us. It's a sellout expected. All the fans are going to be there, right? It's like going to a Basingstoke game on MDMA. Looking around, you're just seeing walls and walls of fans. It's mental. So, I've never actually sold out a stadium before, I don't think. Or if I have, I can't remember it. But this is a huge game. This is like the two giants of the league clashing at each other again. Bromby on the revival. Danny Agger's back starting. Johan Elmander still at home. Now onto Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Bit of Drake and Josh in between, and he might have moved from Cheetos onto What's It's because he's a real man. He probably won't have though, his wife's probably spoon feeding him Ben and Jerry's. But this is the starting 11 we're looking at at the moment. It's not too bad at all. We're giving a rest to Victor Alvarez after what was a reasonably impressive game. We were debating starting Let's and Corlu, but we are going to bring him on the bench. He's 16 years old. He can come on if our right winger does get a bit tired because he did start last game. So 16 year olds there. If we're 1 2 0 up, he's just there on the bench lingering to add that bit of flavour. He's essentially the special sauce on a Big Mac. You know, you can have a fine cheeseburger without it, a fine double cheeseburger. Burger, but add that special sauce and you're away and I'm not talking about spunk and that almost made me spunk I thought that was a deflected goal it goes out for a corner 27 minutes in look at all the fans it's giving me an epileptic seizure twat it in the box he can't big Danny Agger plays it down we're on the edge of the box and has a penalty surely no I don't know how, but the one man we've got to look out for is definitely Cornelius. The man is an absolute god amongst men. I remember him just being a monster in FM14. I think there's no exception here today. 5 in 14. He's not looking too bad at all here for Copenhagen. He didn't score last game. We almost scored there. And look at the shots. It looks like we are getting battered like battered sausage. Roy Delap plays the ball in there. Why is every team I play got Roy Delap now? Why is that a thing? Why can everyone lob a ball 67 yards forward? Here's Cornelia, shot, saved, and Brom Bay are still Bay. We're still unbeaten so far. Edge of half time, and it goes over the bar, and my semi has now flopped. I don't believe it. But now we're on the attack. Here we go, just starting the second half. What a waste. That's a great way to start the second half. Pound it, the opponent said. That should have gone in. Good save. We're going to make a substitution because if you look at Danny Agger, he's a bit tired. So we're going to replace him with a centre-back. He's not that bad, is he? I know he's 34. He's old enough to be my dad, but I'm sure he's got enough experience out there to almost take the armband as such and feel a bit proud of his own accomplishments and lead the team to glory. And look at the fans. If we lose this, we're being stabbed. Our coach is getting egged if we can't come away with a victory here. This is mental. 0-0. 70th minute. It can't be a ball draw derby. Surely it can't be a ball. Oh, that's Waff! He's already on a yellow. Go on, Socquancho. Get him off. There's one. There's two. Piss off. Back to the stands. He's getting eggs on the way back to the stands. I hope someone logs a new Cadbury cream egg in him that doesn't taste as nice. Or a box. So he opens them up and there's only four in there as opposed to five or whatever it is now. But now, 87th minute. Last chance saloon. He's made a save. They're down to ten men. 
Everybody up, boys. Come on. Let's see what we can do here. The ball comes down. Run after it. Run after it. Don't let him get it. That's it. Hassani saves his own bacon there. We've got to try and get a ball in. That's the one. Oh, he's lost it. Well done. 16-year-old comes on in 78th minute. Loses the ball 89th minute. No, well done. That's what I want from a 16-year-old. That's good. Here he is again. Call it. Whoa, referee. He's only 16. He's a boy. That's GBH and he can get sent to prison for child abuse. Someone ring child line. He's just been molested. 92nd minute. And it's all over. It's a ball draw with the rivals. I mean, it's not that bad. We didn't lose, but we battered them shots wise. We were playing them off the pitch. We sold out a stadium. Copenhagen, Bromby, a red card. It had all the makings for a good night, for a good game of football. And it just plummeted. It's like going around the mate's house for pre-drinks. You've got your sours, your vodka, your Jaeger, your ring of fire drinking game, the FIFA, the music. It's got the makings for such a wicked night out. And you get slapped on the way by a 70-year-old woman and she mugs your purse. You can't afford a taxi. It's pissing with rain. You've got to walk home. That's basically what just happened. But if you did like this episode, be sure to leave a like. Let me know in the comments below. And if you haven't subscribed already, we're one away from 300. So be that magical man that I want to buy some magic stars and a curly whirly for. Be that 300 subscriber. I'm so privileged to have this amount of subscribers. And it means a world to me that you guys are still checking out this content. So leave a comment, leave a like, hit subscribe. I'll see you tonight on the live stream at 9pm. Twitch.tv slash Genko Sports. It won't be... Football manager orientated though, so what's it gonna be? Only one way to find out. Join me live tonight on Twitch TV. From me, Jenko Sports, I'll see you later.